Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the basics of tool engineering. This is first unit of tool engineering subject. The subject code is double two five six five. Myself Jesh Derle, lecturer in Department of Mechanical Engineering, K K B Polytechnic, Nashik. So first of all, we will see the introduction about cutting tool. So we have seen in machining processes the cutting tool plays a important or crucial role. for material removal so we can say that here it is a device which is used to remove the unwanted material from the work piece for carrying any machining processes cutting tool plays a major role for removing unwanted material so here in the process of metal removal the tool engage with the work piece with the motion and material removal takes place in the form of chip so any kind of machining processes We have to engage the tool with the work piece with motion, and then the material removal takes place in the form of chip. That is the machining processes. So we have seen most of engineering components such as gears, bearing, clutches, screws, nut. They require accuracy and good surface finish for their better performance. And so for that purpose, this cutting tool plays a major role. which will give the dimensional accuracy and surface finish that will fulfill the functional requirements uh, it, it it improves its performance and also it will increase the life of that uh, device which is uh, manufactured with the help of cutting tool so this is what about cutting tool next we will see the metal removal processes so with the help of this uh, cutting tool we can remove the material but here we have two types of metal removal process first one is chip removal process and second one is non chip removal process so first of all we will discuss about the chip removal process so the name indicates that in this process the material removal takes place and that unwanted material of any work piece which is obtained by separating a layer that is called as chips okay so here the desired shape and dimension are obtained by separating a layer from the work piece in the form of chip so this is your chip removal process so here we have so many chip uh, removal processes first one is turning shaping boring drilling milling honing and grinding these are the chip removal process so in these processes the material or there is a separating layer from the work piece in the form of chips so during this uh, chip removal process there should be a relative motion between either in the work piece or in the cutting tool so such a relative motion can be produced by either by combination of rotary and translator uh, translatory movements either in cutting tool or material or in both so here in chip removal process there must be a relative motion between either in cutting tool or either in material or that is called as a work piece or in both so the relative motion may be a rotary or it may be a translatory motion so for example we consider one example so here we consider a uh, uh, drilling operation for drilling operation we need to uh, fix first work piece which is fix that is uh, for work piece and for uh, cutting tool we need to put a rotary as well as translatory motion so this is for your drilling motion or drilling uh, material removal process for if we consider a milling process in that condition uh, for work piece we need to put translatory motion and for the cutting tool we need to put rotary motion so this is what about chip removal process so in this chip removal process says the relative motion between the work piece and cutting tool is very important so that is what about the chip removal processes next we will see the non chip removal processes so in non chip removal processes what will happen the metal is given the desired shape without removing the material from the work piece so this is called as non chip removal process so name indicate that in this process uh, there is a no unwanted material in the form of chips thrown out so that's why this type of uh, metal uh, process is called as non chip removal processes so uh, there are various uh, chip removal processes 
first one is rolling forging spinning and stamping we we have seen in rolling forging spinning there is no material removal takes place but the desired shape can be obtained without removing the material from the workpiece so this is what about our metal removal processes next one we will see the metal cutting principle so what is exact metal cutting principle so here we have two diagrams in left side this is 2d view and in right side we have 3d view so in left side we have three uh, major element first one is workpiece second one is this is tool and third one is chip after cutting force applied over the workpiece we get the chip or there is a separating a layer of workpiece in the form of chip so here we get a shear angle or area in shear because of uh, this cutting force so first of all we will see the exact cutting principle so here we can say that this is cutting tool so cutting tool exerts a compressive force over the workpiece so here we have tool that tool exerts a cutting force over the this workpiece under this compressive force so this tool exerts a compressive force the material stresses beyond its end point causing the material deform plastically and shear off so here what will happen under this compressive force the material stresses beyond its end point causing the material to deform plastically here material deform plastically and shear off so here area in shear that is shear sharing of material takes place so here the sheared material begins to flow along the cutting tool so here the sheared material this is sheared material begins to flow along the cutting tool face in the form of small pieces so these are the pieces so here this sheared material this is our sheared material because of shearing force begins to flow along the cutting tool here we can say that along the cutting tool this chip or sheared material begins to flow with the cutting tool face in the form of small pieces and that small pieces is called as chips so here the chip formation takes place so the compressive force applied in the, in the form of in uh, to form a chips is called as cutting force so we can say that this compressive force is called as cutting force this is required to formation of chips so the flowing chips causes here the flowing chips causes the wear of cutting tool cutting tool wear takes place due to the flowing chips and there is a heat produced during the shearing action so here during the shearing action here we can say that this is area in shear of workpiece and uh, tool so here because of that here the heat is produced and the cut so we can say that in material cutting processes the cutting force this is cutting force which is applied over the tool second one is because of this cutting force the sharing or compressive force will be developed and because of that there is heat and wear takes place so here cutting force heat and wear are the three basic features of any cut material cutting processes so next we will see the basic elements of machining so here we have three basic elements so any kind of machining we require three basic elements so first basic element is workpiece so this is our workpiece second one is cutting tool so we can say that this is our cutting tool and third one is after force applied over the workpiece there is a chip formation so this is our chip formation so first what is mean by workpiece so workpiece means it provides a parent metal from which the unwanted material is removed by cutting action of tool to obtain desired shape and size so here we can say that this tool exerts a force over the parent metal so this is we can say that parent metal that is workpiece so with the help of uh, cutting tool we can apply the force over the uh, that parent metal and there is a formation of uh, chip or we can say that unwanted material is removed with the help of cutting action of tool to obtain the required shape and size of any component next one is cutting tool by which we can cut the material so there is a cutting tool by which we can cut the material this cutting tool is a harder than the workpiece material so next one is chief after force applied over or unwanted